I hear so many nice guys being like, why is she dating that bartender? Why is she dating that guy with a motorcycle? Why is she dating that D-bag who doesn't treat her right? We're gonna delve deep into this topic and stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm gonna show you guys how you can still get women and be a good man. First thing I wanna tell you guys is women don't like bad boys for the bad things they do to them, but rather the qualities they possess. And these same qualities are not the qualities that a nice guy or a good guy currently possess in today's dating market. What are some of these qualities? The first one I want to touch base on is low agreeableness. The bad boy is willing to speak his mind. He's going to say it how it is. He speaks with no filter and he's going to say what he feels. The good guy, on the other hand, is going to try to appease to his woman, try to agree with her, even though deep down he doesn't truly agree with her, but he thinks that being more agreeable with this woman is going to get him sexual access. Sounds like you're very sexual people. Bad boys do what they want. So if they're planning a trip, they're not gonna stop that for any girl. A lot of nice guys, when they have plans on the weekend, oh baby, I'll cancel it for you. Oh baby, I can make everything shift around for you. And especially early on in the relationship, this should not be happening. Bad boys are gonna do what they want and when they want. Also, bad boys are very confident because they're unfiltered. They know they're not the best dude, but they have the confidence, the charisma to go up and talk to a girl at a bar. To to go up and talk to her at a coffee shop. He doesn't really care if the girl likes him. And when a girl senses that, she actually falls for him more and more. The bad boy might be out there riding his motorcycle, cutting through lanes, taking high risks and not playing it safe. He's love bombing her, texting her all day how much he loves her. Then one day he doesn't text her all day. Next time he doesn't answer her for two days. Then he's back in with the love bombing. That's classic bad boy behavior, guys. Boys, if you're serious about investing in yourself, in your dating life, if you want true abundance with women check the pinned comments below book a free 30 minute coaching call and me and jesse will get you sorted all hope is not lost you can still be a good guy and succeed with the ladies the first thing you need to do is give up on that disney fairy tale where you wait on her hand and foot you're always there you're always available she's the center of your life believe it or not you can still be a good man a good husband and not make your wife the main focus of your existence and as a matter of fact your woman doesn't want to be the main focus of your existence. She wants to know, while you still could be a good dad, you can still throw her on the bed and ravish her. She wants to know that you can stand up for yourself. She wants to know that you can lead the conversation. She wants to know that you can be your true, authentic self and you're not changing your opinion just because she doesn't agree with you. It's sad to say, but good guys, strong men have lost those qualities today. And now, bad boys are the only ones left with those traits. That's why women are picking the bad boys. It's not because women like being treated badly. It's that bad boys are the only ones who have these traits today. As a man, you need to know how to lead the relationship. You need to know how to flirt. You need to know how to be your most true, authentic self and chase your purpose while still being a good man. This is where so many men get lost. It's not black and white with women. It's almost always in the gray area. You can't always be this perfect, stand-up husband type, always, always taking care of all her issues, but you also can't be this evil lunatic slashing her tires, love bombing her, never texting her back. You need to be somewhere in that gray area and combine all the best traits from both of those types of men. That will give you the ability to be the good guy when you have to, but also bring out those negative traits if someone isn't treating you right or if someone isn't respecting you. And that's what I mean by being in that gray area. That's the ideal man that women actually want to date today. Boys, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. And if you're not part of our free Discord, we have almost 400 men in there and we're all helping each other level up with our dating lives. Thank you, boys, and we'll talk soon.